Next, I'd like to turn to the high level aims that I have for you as the students in taking this class. As opposed to a lot of the courses you take where those high level aims are likely specific technical abilities and skills on the computing or the mathematical side. In a course like this, the aims are more at the high cognitive level. And they're really about developing a perspective and a basis for dealing with ethical issues that may arise during your entire career, whether that's as a data scientist or in whatever you do. Uh, as this simple slide shows, there's really three parts to that aim. The highest level one is simply developing awareness, helping the uh, set of antennae that you may have that, come, uh, that go off in certain situations and say, hey, that thing I'm working about on, it really has some ethical issues and I and the people I work with should look at those things. The second one is then developing a tool set for dealing with those ethical questions and learning that there's more to dealing with ethical questions than just our common sense. That there are frameworks, frameworks that go back millennia that uh, people have developed for dealing with ethics and that they don't all agree with each other. That they give different perspectives, but it's good to understand them and decide what's most applicable to a particular situation. That'll be the focus of the next couple of classes. And then the third part, which is the majority of this course, is really starting to apply the first two, to look at a broad set of applications in data science where ethical issues come up, uh, to understand what those issues are, and to practice, if you will, applying the tool set so that we uh, get more experience in making ethical determinations. Next, I'll summarize the topics that this course will cover. Uh, the uh, course is divided into five modules, and the topics of each of those modules are listed on this next slide. Of course, this is a fairly brief course, and so what I've tried to do is select a set of topics that cover the range of what you should have for a basis of understanding ethical issues in data science, and in each case give you some depth, but on a selective set of topics within uh, the topic of that module. The first module is one I just alluded to, uh, the ethical theories that are useful as a foundation for assessing real world situations of ethics and data science. Uh, there's three that tend to be used most frequently in this context and others, and we will talk about each of those three briefly. One is called either Kantianism or deontology. Those are two words for the same theory. The second is called virtue ethics. And the third is called utilitarianism. Uh, as I alluded to just before, these are really quite different approaches to ethics. And uh, we will understand how they can come to different conclusions in some cases, similar in others, by examining some case studies as we examine these theories. That next is the second module. We're going to turn to the internet, which, as I've said, is really the foundation of so many of the ethical issues that we face in data science and computing more generally. And looking at the internet, we'll look at issues of both privacy and security. First, we'll look at some online applications, an example being uh, the types of systems that most of you probably see every day making recommendations, whether they're recommendations for purchases or songs to listen to or videos to look at or whatever, and looking at the implications, sometimes very subtle implications, in terms of both privacy and security of those sorts of applications. Uh, next, we will look at internet security, which is a really different topic. It's a technical topic, uh, but it's very important for you as a data scientist to understand a different sort of ethics. That is that there are people who are trying to do bad things to computers, to uh, to break into computers that we would hope would be secure, and for you to have some understanding of the causes of those breaches and the things as data scientists that you can do to avoid them. I should point out that each of these two topics, like many of the others in the class, could be entire courses by themselves, but we will try to give you some background and some depth in each of them. Third, 
in what really is the core of this course, we're going to look at professional ethics, ethics in the context of a data science or a computing career. First, we will look at uh, professional codes of ethics. Many, uh, most professional societies have carefully considered codes of ethics, and we will consider one of them, the ACM, Profession Code of Professional Ethics, and uh, look at that in the context of case studies. Next, uh, we'll look at some contemporary issues that have arisen in tech companies that have significant ethical aspects to them. Some of these are ones that have been uh, much followed in the media and you may have seen them. And uh, we'll look at them in the context of what we've studied. Uh, and then finally, in what may be the most useful part of this course, I'm gonna ask each of you to try to find a computing professional or a data science professional and talk to them about the ethical issues that they've encountered throughout their career and then share what you've learned through discussion groups with other people in this course. The fourth topic we'll cover is the one that people tend to think of the most when they think of ethical issues in data science and that's algorithmic bias. The facial recognition example that I gave a couple of minutes ago is an example of that. Uh, in general, algorithmic bias means the biases that may occur in any decision-making system that computers use, usually decisions that are based on a form of artificial intelligence, often machine learning. Uh, and these are usually then systems that involve very large data sets and making conclusions and drawing inferences based on those very large data sets. We'll provide a little background on how these systems work, something that you'll learn much more of when you take a AI or machine learning class. And then we'll delve into two important uh, applications. One, biases in a variety of applications related to gender and race. And then the second one, facial recognition. Finally, I've decided to focus on just one of the many important application areas that uh, data science is involved in, medical and uh, healthcare applications. This will allow us to do a few really interesting things. One is to uh, focus on the pros and cons of some of the AI-aided approaches to healthcare, uh, which is a core instance of applying ethical issues in data science. The second is, uh, a much more futurist uh, type of topic, looking at some of the things that are being talked about for the future, such as gene editing and neurological uh, interventions, which are at their heart uh, ethical issues, uh, or at their heart have ethical issues. Uh, and then finally, we're gonna touch on a topic that I think anybody who studies ethical issues in any computing related field should think about a little bit or more, which is the future of work. And we'll use healthcare uh, and uh, data science in healthcare as a motivation for looking at a bit of the future of work. Now, let me turn to how this course will work and what you as students will uh, need to do for it. Ideally, ethics is a topic that is best uh, approached through intensive discussion, uh, discussion related to case studies and other issues. You can think of yourself as one of the ancient Greeks seated under a tree and talking about philosophical issues. So I will encourage you to do that, to engage in the discussion group that goes along with this class online and to share your perspectives and to learn from the perspectives of your fellow students. In conjunction, there'll be a reasonable bit of reading for this course, but it's basically short and uh, simple things to read. Uh, these will be readings mainly from popular media, whether that's newspapers, magazines, blogs, about a particular topic that's come up in the world of computing and data science that uh, involves ethical issues. I strongly encourage you to read those. They'll be listed uh, along with the uh, lessons for the course. For the next two classes, the readings will be a little bit more conventional academic readings about the ethical theories that we'll be studying. And then finally, this is not a subject that is all that well suited to quizzes or tests. There'll be a little bit of that for the students who are taking this course for credit, but in that case, the main work 
will be participating in the discussion groups uh, and writing a few reports, both based on uh, case studies that you look at and also based on the uh, interview that I alluded to of a data science professional. An important note for students who are taking or considering taking this course for credit, please be sure to respond to all the discussion prompts and save your responses as you will need them for the final exam. Before the next class, there are three things that I would encourage you to do. The first is to uh, get into the class discussion group and just introduce yourself a little. Tell us things about you that you would uh, like to share and like us to know. The second, if you choose, is to do a little bit of detective work. Uh, look at one student who has introduced themselves other than yourself uh, and see what you can find about that person online. That really gets to a part of the heart of ethics issues in computing and data science. Uh, what we're uh, making available for ourselves and you might ask yourself, am I finding something out about that person that they wouldn't want, for instance, a job interviewer to, to know about them? Uh, if you do, you might share it with that person, but don't do it publicly. Uh, and then the final thing is, uh, depends on your learning style really. In the next class we'll be talking about the first two of the ethical theories, Kantianism or deontology and virtue ethics. And they'll be reading about each of those. And depending on what you prefer to do, you might wanna do that reading before viewing the uh, lecture or after viewing the video. So thanks for uh, joining me with this first class and I look forward to really diving in in the next one.